Welcome back, viewers. Before we took a break, we were discussing about true prosperity. And we were saying that true to true prosperity is being a blessing for others. Exactly. It's not, you know, getting everything just for yourself. It's all about sharing it to others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we continue the message. Proverbs says, The regular soul shall be made fat, and he that waters shall be watered also himself. You never lose for being the giver and the blesser. There are orphans, widows, and indigent children who could benefit from your prosperity. The Bible says in Proverbs 19:17, He that has pity upon the poor leans on to the Lord, and that which he has given will, pay, will he pay him again. Hallelujah. This is just an amazing truth. Here, Pastor Anita is um, uh, telling us, as you have said, uh, you never lose uh, being a giver. When you, when you give, I mean, you don't lose. You're, whatever you have, it's not getting lower, but it's getting higher. And um, it's so colorful uh, on Proverbs 19, 17. Uh, it's so amazing that uh, the Bible uh, says that whoever gives to the needy is lending to God. It's an amazing truth. And when I think about this, I, I, I was like, um, you know, when you give to a man, uh, you give as a man. But when you get it back, God will give you as a God. I mean, in, 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 in more abundance. So it's an amazing thing. So it's for our own blessing. I mean, we give as a man, and God will, you know, bless us as a God. So it's so amazing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are, so there are many people who need our blessing, like Pastor has stated here. There are orphans, there are widows, there are indigent children. So we can be a blessing to one of uh, these different c categories. So we can be faithful with what we have. We don't have to expect uh, to give when we have a lot, but mm -hmm. on what we have, we can do what we can do. Exactly, and Pastor continues to uh, strengthen uh, what she has already uh, mentioned here. Uh, she says, always look out for opportunities to be a blessing to others. And the Lord, besides increasing your capacity to do more, will multiply your seeds, sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there, is, there are a lot of opportunities around us for us to be givers. So it's an opportunity. Whenever we see a need around us, it's an opportunity for us to give. Then God will bless us back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful statement Pastor has used here. Always look out for opportunities to be a blessing for others. So we have to be blessing conscious. We mm -hmm. have to be conscious to bless others Hallelujah. on our daily basis, uh, on our daily activities. We should be conscious to, to bless someone, to give something to someone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Skadar, uh, I just want to uh, emphasize on, uh, on the last paragraph we have read here. Uh, it says, always look for opportunities. Pastor Anita is telling us that we need to look for opportunities. We don't have to wait until these things come to us. So we should be able, consciously, we should be able to go and find them and, you know, fulfill the needs because it's an opportunity. When she tells us, um, you know, further, it's like it's for our own advantage. God is, you know, blessing us because we are, uh, you know, blessing others. So blessing is like an investment in our life. Mm -hmm. When we bless others, God will bless us too. Mm -hmm. So we should go look for the opportunities. Maybe we, we might not see, you know, people in need around us, but we need to go. We need to make an, a, a conscious effort to go and get the people in need so that we can, you know, bless them. And then the blessing will t return to us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And as we do so, Pastor says here that uh, one thing, our capacity to do more will increase. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And secondly, God will always multiply our seed sown. Mm -hmm. So as we give, as we bless others, the advantage is also for us. It's not just for those who are blessed. That's Praise very the Lord. true. Hallelujah. Let's take the prayer together. Dear Lord, dear Lord, I thank you. I thank you for making me a blesser, for making me a blesser and a lifter of others and a lifter of others. I thank you. 
I thank you for granting, granting me the grace, for granting me the grace, wisdom and strength, wisdom and strength to always recognize, to always recognize the need of those around me, the need of those around me, that I may bring them, that I may bring them hope, hope and inspire them and inspire them to success and greatness, to success and greatness through my giving, through my giving, mighty harvest of financial blessings, mighty harvest of financial blessings are coming to me, are coming to me in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a prayer. This is also one of the opportunities that we uh, get, you know, from Rhapsody of Dr Realities. It's a great prayer. Amen. And there's a further study uh, scripture. Um, the first one is Luke 6, 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you met with that, it shall be measured to you again. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. The second scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. And it reads, But this I say, He which sows sparingly shall reap also sparingly and he which sows bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man, according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed ab abroad he has given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What a scripture. Amen. What a beautiful message we had today. Thank you, viewers, for sharing Rhapsody of Realities with us today. Stay tuned for our extra segment. In different brands, in different formats, Rhapsody of Realities, the world's number one devotional, is changing lives one person at a time. Whoever you are, wherever you are. There's a word for you in Rhapsody of Realities. Introducing a revolutionary movement of people set to change the world. The Rhapsody Mandate Network, RMN. The Rhapsody Mandate Network, RMN, is a network of partners who are committed to making Rhapsody of Realities the number one most read book in their local tea second only to the Bible, thus increasing the reach and penetration of our message. They are committed to impacting their world, impacting their local tea with the Rhapsody of Realities. The objective is to make Rhapsody of Realities the number one most read book in our homes, offices, streets, cities, nations, second only to the Bible. The stage is set. The ball has been set rolling. Be a part of this revolution. Join the Rhapsody Mandate Network, RMN today. And don't forget, anyone can be a part of the network. Make Rhapsody of Realities the number one book in the whole world, second only to the Bible. For more information, please call the following numbers. God bless you. Welcome back, viewers. What an inspiring message it has been on the title, Make Good Things Happen for Others. If you are taking one year Bible reading plan, you can take Acts chapter 21 from verse 17 to 36 and Job chapter 29 to chapter 31. If you also are on the two year Bible plan, today's scriptures are Luke 8 from 19 to 25 and Joshua chapter 8. It has been an amazing message. We have been discussing on how to be a blessing to others. It has been an inspiring message for us. How have you been blessed? This is really an amazing, amazing, uh, um, you know, truth that Pastor Anita is sharing with us. Uh, she was telling us that uh, the true prosperity, the meaning of true prosperity is sharing to others. When we share to others, it will come back to us. God will bless us. So it's an opportunity for us to give to others. So we should be able to go look for others to bless them. We don't have to wait for them to come to us. We don't have to be 
you know, sitting down and, you know, uh, wait for others to come to us and beg for us. You know, we have to go to them. We, we have to take it as an opportunity, you know, to bless them. So this is an amazing truth. So uh, what, what I want to uh, say here is, uh, viewers, if there are, you know, people around you who are really in need, you should go for them. It's an opportunity for you to bless them so that God bless you mightily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We believe we have been pleased with today's Rhapsody Study of Realities. Thank you for staying with us on today's Rhapsody Study of Realities. Until next time, keep, keep reading, reading your Rhapsody of Realities. God, God bless, bless you. you.